spectator, a warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It's Porto versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. And now they get the ball rolling. of challenge put in and that is going to be a free kick well the referee opting for the lenient approach this time I think it's a great bit of refereeing everybody now knows the next foul will be punished You can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Saka. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Now he must favour the cross. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Excellent defending. Marcinelli. Pepe. Mario. Determined defending. Marcinelli and Havertz giving it a try and the keeper showing tremendous command
It's a short one. Martinelli. Bukayo Saka. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Rice. And return to Gabriel Jesus. They could dodge in front. Still can be dangerous. Cleared away comprehensively. Martinelli. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Well, he has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. again what sort of response will we see from them now now well, doesn't get away with it free kick given and he gets away with a warning here in my view that's good refereeing strong but not officious And we will have just one additional minute. Pepe. And on to Taremi. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here into the second half. Very quick thinking there. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half scoring that late goal but i thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on and support available great defending steven eustachio what to like about that pass well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area On the offensive. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And they will make the change now. have given us away Varela just 20 minutes remaining now oh a tremendous block Galeno, it's with Wendell, Fabio Cardoso, 
Pepe. Pepe. Arsenal recovering possession well. Jorginho. Martin Erdegaard. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And he might be through here. And a save that keeps them believing. Well, he's given them a chance with that save, as you said. But will they get another opportunity? I'm not sure. And there's the delivery. Clearance needed to be better. Nicely timed tackle. Rice. Crossing opportunity. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. So the final whistle, this first leg is over and it's a story of Arsenal with the advantage going into the return match. Yeah, that was a tight game and I think they 